the time has come. More boat content, you guys have asked for it and we've got it. We are embarking on our first trip in 2021. We are headed to our favorite lake in Arkansas, Lake Washita, to celebrate Aaron's birthday and our anniversary. And it is going to be a beautiful trip. I can't believe it was this time last year that we bought this boat for five grand, fixed it for under 2,000 bucks, and have been enjoying it and made so many amazing memories since. We would not trade this boat for anything. Well, maybe one with two engines. <laughs> we are definitely about the cabin cruiser life and we are so excited to make so many more memories on this boat. Before we hit the road, let's thank our sponsor for this video, Omaze. We've got a custom URL, www.omaze.com forward slash flying sparks. We love working with Omaze. A portion of the donations from this prize goes to the Independence Fund, which I will tell you more about in a little while. The prize itself is so stellar that I seriously want to win it myself. Huge shout out to Amaze for making all this possible and I'm excited to tell y'all more about it in a little bit. All right, let's get on the road to Washita. Floating trailer. <laughs> Guys, this is a really special evening on the boat. We have our friends Josh and Chelsea, and we've been floating in the water and just swimming and enjoying each other's company because we don't get the opportunity to hang out quite as often as we'd like to. But right now, Aaron's getting ready to make us some delicious food. We're so excited. Um, he's got some aged steaks that he actually aged for my birthday, and we didn't get to consume them on my birthday, so we brought them on this trip, and they're really special cuts of meat, and he cares fully aged them so we're really excited to eat those tonight um, and it's a beautiful evening on the water on Lake Washita our favorite place to be so it's really special happiness you look pretty majestic with your cigar there oh, Mr. Reeves I know uh, that's really that's good, good back like what do you got to say well, I was gonna talk about what I was gonna make please do so we've got some Korean style mushrooms here I don't know what variety this one is. We've also got, I, I bought two large racks of bone-in ribeyes and dry aged them for 30 days. And so we're gonna make those and they should be pretty good. Normally I'd reverse sear them and then put them in the oven. The oven is too close to the boat. So we don't want the boat to catch on fire. So we're just gonna have to sear them, try to get the temperature right. And we've got some broccolini over there on the magma. It's gonna be awesome, babe. Look at that backdrop. What? Look at Josh with his camera. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is pretty ideal, y'all. The water would calm down and be better. <laughs> no, it's so choppy. Gosh. Shot dog present too. Thank you. This is the first time we're actually getting to use our Camp Chef oven and we pulled it out of the trailer to be able to use on this trip, which is the goal of this unit is to be able to use it in all different places. Use it on the trailer, use it with the boat, use it when we go camping. We could even put it in the airplane and take it on adventures. Y'all, this meal looks insane, 
We're so excited. We're all gathered around, That's family right. style. On the boat, y'all know that food tastes so much better outside too. Thank you. Especially when someone you Thanks. love cooked it. Oh my gosh, how lucky are we? Love it. What an awesome night that was. Josh and Chelsea had a campsite, so we dropped them off after sunset. They tucked in and we went and found a nice cove to sleep in. I want to tell you guys about the Omaze opportunity this episode brings. In our description, you will find a link that is www.omaze.com forward slash flying sparks. The prize is so rad, you guys. It's a combo. It's not just one item, it's two. By donating, you are entered for a chance to win a 2021 Ford F-150 and an Airstream Caravel 20FB. This setup is so cool. When I got this footage, I was literally drooling. I would love to have this setup. Airstream makes such a fantastic camper. This unit comfortably sleeps four and has a memory foam mattress, a spacious kitchen with premium appliances, and really cool pet friendly ultra leather seating. And this F-150 is no slouch. This truck comes with 400 horsepower and 510 foot-pounds of torque and has a zero to 60 of 3.7 seconds. I don't know what the stats are with the camper behind it, but it can't be bad. Of course, it comes with the whole trailer tow package and it's an FX4, which provides safe and easy off-road maneuverability. The 360 camera view on these trucks is so cool. We use it all the time on our Super Duty and it is really legit. It's also got the twin panel moonroof, which we absolutely love on our truck. Leather seats and that cool console that flips down into a work table. Now onto what your donation supports. The Independence Fund is committed to empowering our nation's catastrophically wounded, injured, or ill veterans to overcome physical, mental, and emotional wounds incurred in the line of duty. They're dedicated to improving the lives of both veterans and their families. So take a second to hit that link in the description and go donate, and you may even win a prize that would be so sick. All right, how about a morning on Lake Washita? Good morning, you guys, from the Stellar Views Cabin Cruiser. We finally named our boat. <laughs> we named it Stellar Views because, well, its first episode was our first video to ever reach a million views. And currently, right now, at the end of May in 2021, it is around 4 million views, which is a trip to us because we've never seen those kinds of views. And it's been a really cool new chapter for our channel and our life. And then, of course, you've got the double meaning because from a boat you also get stellar views of the beautiful environment that you take it so we like that name i have morning hair haven't done anything barely even looked in the mirror today <laughs> whip the phone out and start filming but today is a really special day because it's aaron's birthday he's My 30 birthday. he's 37 today that's right and what do you want to do on your birthday well <laughs> I want to do a lot of things, but most importantly, I want to fix our pump because we didn't know this, but it froze during the freeze in Texas that we had. And we went to use the sink and there's water linking under the staircase. So luckily I had a pump at the house. We, we had bought a pump for the race trailer and it looks like the same one. So we brought it with us, brought some tools. I think we'll get the sink going because Emily's having to go to the back of the boat, wash dishes on the swim platform. And it'd be nice to have a shower too. Yeah. <laughs> Running water in a boat that has faucets is kind of yeah. nice. <laughs> I think it'll just take like 15 minutes. Finley is, of course, being lazy. All right, let's get to work. So our pumps are down here. And you can see here, see how that hose is just flopping in there? And then also the end of this pump is just busted out. You can see it split. And when I turn it on, actually, let me just go ahead and turn it on for you. Here's the pump we had. To me, it looks like the same pump. If not, I mean, all this stuff's pretty universal. It's two wires and fittings. It's 12 volt water pressure pump. Let's take this one out. These are all the tools we have on the boat. 
I think I'm gonna have to just cut these off. That one's gonna be hard to get to. But that hose could be too short when I cut it. It may work, we'll see. I know this one's long enough, so we'll cut it. Oh, like a hacksaw. <laughs> Then, sir. That works. <laughs> I wonder if this pump's been replaced before. I bet it has. Oh, it's a little stainless screw. One at the back, I can't see. Just hope I don't drop the screwdriver. I'm sure you guys can hear the water kind of popping on the bottom of the boat. If you decide to get a cabin cruiser, be aware that you're going to deal with that noise all the time. I had no idea that was a thing before we bought this. We love that rear berth. It's a really big bed. It's like a queen size bed, but it's very loud when you're sleeping in it. <laughs> of course, it's at the back of the boat. It's underneath those, you know, the, the back seats there and you're very low in the water. We end up enjoying sleeping in the forward berth better because it's quieter. And that hatch, you just get all this fresh air blowing in. So this ends up being storage for all of our clothes and backpacks and stuff. But it's nice if we have company. Mm -hmm. have lots of beds and of course the kitchen area makes a bed too so i need to cut these wires it's okay to have a beer for breakfast on your birthday not breakfast and other days it's brunch it's 10 30. that's true so we have our tools we have our alcohol we have our storage for our magma grill <laughs> and here somewhere we have wire cutters right yep those are pretty rough <laughs> I didn't realize those are the ones I had in here. <laughs> we need to get some real sexy wire cutters from Wire Care. I can get it done. They'll work. I'm hoping I can stretch this and unscrew it so I don't have to unhook that side. Man, that is a very similar pump. 12 volt. That says seven amp max. This says three and a half amp. Oh, but it's got a seven and a half amp max. Flow is 3.3 gallons, 3.8 bar, 55 PSI. I don't know what that means. That says 35 PSI, two and a half bar. So these are built with a sensor in them to where once it gets to up, in this case, 36 PSI, it shuts off automatically. This one's 55. Hopefully that's not an issue with our hoses. I don't think so because this is PEX and that's some pretty hardcore stuff, but I don't know what the pressure settings are for PEX even. Neat little pumps. I don't know what I paid for this. I can't remember. It wasn't ridiculous. This pump is from Rec Pro, and we've been buying a ton of we've stuff. Been buying a lot of stuff from them. From Rec Pro for the trailer, so they've been a great resource. Yeah. So let me just get some Teflon on this. Hopefully that'll be adequate. He's judging what? you. Why don't you make me some breakfast? Feed you all the time, dog. Yeah, Finley. Maybe this is the part where they said boats will cost you a fortune. And I'll argue, get off your couch and learn to do some repairs on your own boat, and they won't cost you a fortune. Yeah, we've never really spent a fortune on our boats. Made money on every one I've owned. Buy them broken and fix them. And repair them yourself. Exactly. <laughs> Instead of dropping it off at a boat shop or a marina or a dealership and have them charge it like crazy. Let's see if this will work. The trick will be getting it started. You know what? That'll spin on there. So I can take it off here. Yeah, this will work. These are pipe threads, so they you've got to go in sequence. But this, where the PEX is, this one will actually spin on the PEX. Yeah, with a pair of pliers in there. I'll be able to spin that. I don't think it's supposed to do that, but who knows? Because that was just going to be almost impossible to get started. Got it going now. Good job. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting here being useless. I'm not even helping. Just documenting it. Making videos for y'all. Finley's over there being cute. Mm-hmm. It's an awesome day, you guys. Nowhere else we'd rather be. It's silicone now. Mm-hmm. Someone was leaking at some point on someone. Or they didn't have Teflon or 
Silicone's the right thing to do, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Who knows? I don't know what I'm doing. We're certainly not a how-to channel. We show how we do things, but usually we're learning as we go. You can always refer to the comment section and look for the experts who will inevitably tell us how we should be doing things, and then you can learn that way. Yep, you want to do it right. <laughs> Ask the comment section. Exactly. Because we are not them. <laughs> Every time we do something, we learn more and more. That's right. We get stuff done. We break stuff. We fix stuff. We adventure. Finley's getting ready to jump into the uh, storage bin. Nice. There it is. Good job. Yeah, that flare end on that. I didn't even score it. Locks it on. Good job. Sweetness. Hoses all the way on. Let's see if our nut will start. Yep. It's going. I don't know how tight this is supposed to be, but I'm guessing not very since it's plastic. All right, now time to get our wires up here. I should have put ends on these before I got down in here. This has definitely been replaced. You can see multiple butt connectors. I'm just trimming all that stuff out. It looks like I've got enough wire, so. Get rid of those old junky connections and terminate some new ones. This beautiful set of wire strippers. We have new wire strippers at the house. Wire care sent us some. The yeah. order you just made? I put those in our order. <laughs> They're gonna be sick. I'm gonna cut that a little short. It'll work just to back up anyways. It'll be totally sealed with that butt connector. Cool. That makes a really good seal. Almost like you're gluing it together. Clearly I didn't get long enough there. <laughs> it's still good. That butt connector did the seal, so I'll try to do better on the next one. pump up running it dry right i was just checking to see if it would prime itself great job aaron yeah okay i'm just put stuff back away we just had the idea of gathering some lake water uh, we have a couple extra empty gallon jugs so we're going to pull some lake water and uh, put it in our tank so that we can try our pump nice and tidy Let's see if the pump stops. She kicked off. Cool. Let's check the bathroom. Cool. This is our shower too. It hooks right here. So you can take a dump and shower. You can take a dump and shower at the same time. <laughs> cool. We have water again. Yay, babe. We just have to burn all the lake water out. You fixed it. Cool. It's nice. working again. Now it's on to making breakfast, I think. Yeah, I think I'll cook now that you can wash dishes. Mm -hmm. That's my job is wash dishes after he cooks, which I happily do because I enjoy his food so much. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. All right, so I was wanting some homemade potato chips, but I didn't cut these thin enough. The boat's kind of rocking, so I'm nervous to get too close to my hands. So we're gonna have fried potatoes with a little truffle oil and some Malden salt. And that'll be exciting. It's not too windy to run this. That might block enough of the wind. Yeah. So we have an issue with this thing. It gets hot on the bottom. And so we can't use our oven right now. We've got to figure out some kind of solution to put it on that suspends it up that has some kind of fireproof bottom on it. Still, the cooktop's really nice. This works a lot better than what's in there. Cooking inside in small places, especially with a wok that produces a lot of smoke and heat. It's way better to have it outside if you can. Absolutely. I'm gonna get my jacket on. It's cold. <laughs> it's brisk. I don't know how you're in a bikini. I need to fix this situation. That's better. 
America. Land of the free, home of the brave. I'm trying to make some fried potatoes, but uh, see this boat moving around? Mm -hmm. See what's right over there? These guys, the sun just came out. It's getting pretty. <laughs> And these guys are getting ready to rip it up in this cove with some wakeboarding and all kinds of stuff. They're filling their fat sacks and or their ballast. <laughs> so, so that's a lesson for you. I'm gonna turn this off because last thing we want is really hot grease sloshing around. <laughs> Save this activity for night when no one's on the water. <laughs> we'll let Dang this it. cool down and get back to cooking that boudin and some eggs. Save them taters for later. Yeah, put them in a the bag. It'll be fine. requested a tortilla, so that's what I'm getting. That's right. Thank you, Aaron. Pretty well gets what she wants. <laughs> that's right. So do you. <laughs> I'm proof of that. <laughs> I think we both do. She wanted me and she got it. That's right. Tomorrow's our dang old anniversary, Aaron. How'd that happen? It's really nuts because tomorrow is our 14 year wedding anniversary. That's crazy. We've been together 20 years, so. Time just goes way fast. I know like when we're growing up, everybody always tells you that like, time's going to fly by and it does. I can't believe 2001 was 20 years ago. What? Ooh, that's pretty. Tortilla. Yeah. I'm excited to eat. This looks like such a tasty breakfast. Thanks, babe. It's technically lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna tell myself that. It's, it's almost it's one o'clock. It's brunch. <laughs> we are gonna enjoy our brunch, lunch, not breakfast meal and continue onward on this birthday day. We had an absolutely awesome, relaxing day of motoring around and enjoying the scenery of one of our favorite places in the world. And a huge thanks to Amaze for making this episode possible. Please like, subscribe, and comment below, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode.